Okay, and so today I'm going to be using Windows 11 for the first time as a Linux user. Now, if you didn't know, I used to do a lot of Linux videos. I really love using Linux and I've been using it for more than 10 years now, but I still do use Windows and at times I am also an Apple fanboy. But let's go ahead and get to the computer and try out Windows 11. So before I get started, I just want to show you how I use Windows. So right now in my virtual machine, I have Windows 10, Windows 11, and even Windows XP. Now I have installed Windows 11, but I haven't used it yet. And so this is going to be my first experience with it. And of course, I've seen a lot of other people use it, but my experiences is going to be different from other people's. So let's go ahead and start this up. And if you're wondering what version of Linux that I'm using or what distro, I am running Linux Mint and Ubuntu was what I really started with. And I've tried many other distros, but Linux Mint is my favorite. I've been using this for years. So, okay, great. It looks nice. You know, I mean, that's the one thing I can say about uh, Windows 10 and then going forward is the overall visual look. So yeah, let's go ahead and make this full screen. So right off the bat, I do like the actual look of it and it took a while for it to go full screen. So this looks really good. I'll definitely say that. So it does look different because the dock is down here at the bottom, um, which is very similar to what Mac has. I mean, I'm already used to that, so that's fine. So what is this? Okay, that's different desktop windows that you can use, which is nice virtual screens, what I have in Linux for a long time. There's widgets, I don't know. Okay, there's a number of widgets that you can use. Okay, I don't know what that was. That's a privacy block. And that's one thing, you know, that Windows still has, and I don't think it's ever going to go away. It has all these notifications and other things that I don't really like. I don't know why that's not coming up. Maybe because I'm in a virtual machine, like this is probably for video chat or something. But uh, my camera doesn't work through the virtual machine, or I haven't figured out how to get it to work yet. So I will say right off the bat, I do like this new look. It's visually appealing. I mean, I would say even beautiful and it's very clean. I, I really do enjoy a clean aesthetic. Uh, any operating system I use, that's what I really appreciate. And here's the Microsoft store. Okay, they revamped it. Wow, that looks pretty good. It kind of reminds me of a something like Xbox interface. And I'm assuming that's not by accident. They want to keep everything with a consistent look and feel. Movies and TVs down here. Okay. And then you have your library over here. All right. There's updates here. All right. And then uh, I did install some additional browsers initially whenever I installed it, but as I stated earlier, I didn't really do anything else, you know. And let's see. So the Edge browser is definitely the one they want you to use. But at least right here, there doesn't seem to be too many uh, bloatware apps, you know. And this is a fresh install of Windows, and so you'll definitely get less then if you were to buy a normal computer with Windows 11 installed, it's going to always have additional bloatware. There's Office, OneDrive, Paint. Okay. So this interface, I, I do like this interface. I'm not going to lie. It's really nice. And what else? Let's go to the settings. Okay. So let me see. Are things a lot easier to get around. So that's the one thing that you'll learn. Uh, if you ever do decide to use something beyond Windows, and Apple Mac, I think it's a lot better interface. I think it's one of the best out there, in my opinion. And one of the things that I really noticed whenever I used Linux for many years is the fact that it is so much easier for you to 
understand and navigate, especially now with modern Linux. You know, older versions of Linux at the beginning, you had to be really technically minded. <laughs> but nowadays, I think it's a lot easier. And I would say Microsoft Windows is probably one of the most complex and convoluted. Okay, so if you've only ever used Windows, you might not think that, but there's a lot of stuff in here, you know, especially when it comes to your privacy settings and stuff. Microsoft buries so much of this in a lot of their settings. And uh, what is that? Privacy settings block access. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And that's the one thing that I recommend everybody do whenever they, you know, go to Windows is you need to go into each one of these and really dig deep into it and turn off a lot of these things, okay? Because Microsoft by default collects a lot of information, you know, and, and all of these companies collect some type of information. Even if you feel like Apple is really privacy minded, they collect a lot of information, you know, whereas in Linux, you have a lot of control of what is being collected. And for the majority of, you know, distros out there, they don't collect anything, you know, besides what's needed for the system. And so, yeah, so there's same similar to what we had in Windows 10. But I would say at least here, I like this interface better. It just did this more organized. Let's just say that. Whereas in Windows 10, I kind of felt like I had to keep digging and digging and, you know, just finding stuff wasn't as easy for me. Whereas here, I do like this better. But once again, within Windows, there's just a lot of stuff. You know, you really got to be careful and boy that thing is really annoying uh, okay so here's your phone <laughs> if you wanted to take off your phone and yeah everything looks about the same but as stated a little bit earlier uh, i would definitely come here to your privacy <laughs> and really go through this thoroughly and every time you get a windows update they change a lot of things they reset things and normally i just turn everything off you know a lot of these things are on on by default okay so at least there i do like the organization it is better it's more understandable but i still don't like the fact that it's very uh, detailed <laughs> it's complex and there's a lot of privacy issues still protect your online privacy and keep data brokers from selling your personal information by using delete me the number one privacy information remover service since 2010 Sign up today and get 20% off your first order. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. So what else can we see? What else is there? So go back to the Explorer. This one is different. Uh, yeah, because, you know, older Windows, they actually had letters up here. <laughs> but now it's all more visual. So let's copy and paste. View. Okay. I do like this better. Okay, uh, just goes back to the whole simplicity thing and organization. Okay, pictures, I don't have any pictures yet. But yeah, I am liking that. Let me see, network, okay. So there's not too many differences when you're talking about what's happening underneath, okay? But in terms of the overall visual presentation, the overall aesthetic i do like this better and also just the fact that they keep things really clean i also like that as well and i do like the whole microsoft store and everything that comes with this it's a lot more visually appealing uh, once again things are more organized and also they're more cohesive with the rest of uh, microsoft products if you happen to use it well that just crashed that's kind of weird um yeah so yeah so my initial thoughts of using Windows 11 for the first time, I really like it. In terms of a visual standpoint, organization standpoint, I definitely think this is a step in the right direction. But other things that are Windows related, <laughs> I still don't like at all. And, you know, as anybody who's used Windows for a while, you're going to get notifications, you're going to get system updates, you're going to get Microsoft looking at a lot of your activity. And then, you know, they pretty much force you to have a you know Microsoft account or an email or something. Whereas in this case, I was able to install it and uh, not have to do that. But who knows how long that's going to last. And you know, there's the Windows update here as well, which is always going to be doing that. So those are my thoughts on using Windows 11 for the first time as a Linux user. 
Overall, I think this is a really good release. I do like the style, simplicity, and how they've organized things a lot more. And so if you did have any thoughts on Windows 11 or any operating systems that you enjoy using, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you're curious and you wanted to see all the previous Linux videos that I used to make in the past, I do have playlists for that. I'll leave in the description area below or up here.